today we're going to talk about Redshift Materials. If you're coming from another 3D package like Cinema 4D, it had an amazing asset library or asset browser where you could store materials and all those cool things. Houdini doesn't have that by default. But today we're going to take a look at a way that we can super easily create Redshift Materials inside something called OD Tools. So let's jump in and let's take a look. So if you're brand new and you don't know what OD Tools is, it is not part of Houdini. It is a separate package that you can see here from Origami Digital. Um, it is not free and you have to pay for it, but I think it is well worth it. As somebody who freelances and has to kind of manage my own pipeline, it has a ton of tools that helps with that. One of them being this asset library, which is what we're going to talk about. It has a whole bunch of other tools, which I use all the time, but today we're just going to focus on the asset library. Now, what is the asset library? Yep, you can have materials, you can have just pure textures. So if I have a dome light, I can just drag this or double click this and it'll apply it to my dome light. And that's the same with lights. If I have a light, I can double click and add my soft boxes and colorful lights and whatever I want. Another thing that you can do in the asset library is you can store actual gradients. So, so this is super useful. If you have a ramp, you can just double click and it'll add it. And as you can see, this one has a gazillion knots, but we can go to um, this one and these are a lot simpler and you can see it applies the gradient. So this is a super cool way of storing a bunch of gradients if you wanna just quickly cycle through them. The asset library also lets you do models. So you can do 3D models. And if I'm in my base scene, I can just drag this in here and I can bring it in however I want with the objects that I want. And there we go, I have my little train. And something else that's super useful is you can link this to your mega scans. So if you go into the folder management, which we'll talk about in a bit, but you can, if you send it to Omega Scans and you set this to be a Omega Scans library, you don't have to do anything else. It'll bring in the thumbnails, it'll bring in all the 3D models, and you can then just drag them into your network and use them. And the last thing that you can use this for, well, not the last thing, there's many things you can use this for, is you can also drag in Houdini setups. So if I go back to my home screen, I can just grab maybe this cage bring it in here, it takes a second because there's actually stuff inside here. And now you can see I have this cage that I made ages ago and I have the entire setup here. So I can just drag it and reuse it. So I have a whole bunch of different things that I use all the time. And this way I can just very easily drag them into my projects. But something that a lot of people have been asking me about is how I get these redshift materials set up so that when I drag them in, I have everything connected. So let's take a look at how we can set that up. So as you can see here, we have a link to all these different paths and these are all paths to my G drive. This is where I store all my textures and my assets uh, for different things. And then I point these different paths to different folders that I have there. And so as an example, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a path and then I can just go into my G drive over here and let's just create a new one. I'm gonna call this test and I'll just say accept. And if I scroll to the bottom, now I have this test. So I can right click and say save directory layout, go into my library and if I scroll down, I have test. And as you can see, there's nothing here. So that's cool because I have nothing in this test folder and I can show you, here's the test folder and there's nothing inside it. So how do we create textures? Well, there's several different ways. And because we're using OD tools, I will show you some of the ways that we can build materials. For this, I'm going to use the same grayscale gorilla textures that I've already used because I have them I'm just sitting here. So I'll just pick brick number seven and we can create a redshift or RS material builder and dive inside here. If you have the material selected when you drag in textures, because of OD tools, it will auto align everything or auto connect everything, I should say. And then I have this amazing script from Luke Van. I will put his link here. He also has a Patreon, go and support him. And if you want this, I'm pretty sure if you support him on Patreon and you DM, he will send it to you. But if I hit Control Alt A, it adds a uh, this math ABS, and then I can very easily scale my textures. So it auto connects it to the scale of all of them. I don't know why this is not showing me what I need to see uh, here. Um, and I find that super useful. So I just select all my nodes, control shift A, and I do that. I use this all the time. So Luke Van, go hit him up. He's super cool. Okay, so I've now created this um, material. And one of the things you have to keep in mind is that, especially for the metallic materials, is it doesn't change the actual properties on the standard material. So if you're trying to rebuild, you know, the car paints or uh, the metal ones, you kind of have to go in here and tweak them and change them yourself but it does connect all of these. So that's super cool. So now once I have this, what do I do with this? Okay, so let's just call this um, 
brick seven. I can go back into my OD and I'm in this test and I can just drag this in here and say brick seven and nothing's happening, it seems like. But if you look in the bottom corner here, it says building redshift scene. And what that's doing is it's creating this thumbnail. And I actually don't know if this worked so well. The thumbnail doesn't work because, oh, actually it did. It's just a really small texture size. And maybe that's because this is set to zero. Okay, so let's set that to one and let's do that again. So I'm going to delete that. So remove, delete from disk. And it's this is actually deleting a file from your disk. So be careful. It's not just deleting it from your asset library. So you got to just be careful when you play with these things. And now it's it just needs to refresh this. There we go. And you can make these thumbnails bigger. And you can see now I have this brick texture. Now what's cool is I can delete this. And let's say I'm in a new scene. I can just drag this into my material context and now I have exactly the same material as how I saved it so that's pretty cool so you can make changes in whatever you want to do drag it in here and save it and then you get that okay so that's one way of doing it obviously that's pretty manual especially if you have a whole library of textures it's going to be pretty tedious to like drag it in even though it's really fast but for like one off materials where you just want to build it and then save it this is super fun and super fast so i'm going to just delete that so another way that we can do this is if we go into our windows explorer let's just pick some okay so i'm going to pick these 10 bricks i'm going to copy these and just paste them into my test folder so you can see here's this brick od zip that's the material that's over there i'm going to paste these over here so i've got these materials here just save directory layout okay so if i go back to test you can see now i have all these bricks here um and there's no thumbnails but they're there and what this is doing the reason that i'm not seeing them here at first is because this is set to none and so what i need to go here is you can right click on this and set this to all so do I want to do that? Yes, I do. And then I always just say save directory layout. I don't know if that's necessary, but uh, that didn't work. It did. I just need to refresh it here. There we go. So now when I get in here, it, it automatically shows all. Now, if you have like thousands of these, it's not always um, advantageous to do that because you just have so many of these. But let me just right click and build li library thumbnails. And that was real time. I didn't speed that up. And you can see that was like super quick. And now we have all of these. One of the cool things in OD tools is you can hit this button here and it creates material sets. So what this is doing now is you can see these are brick one, brick two, brick three. So it'll take those and it'll create a material set out of that. So if I jump into my matnet and I create an RS material uh, builder and I dive inside here, I can select this and I can select these. Um, I actually don't think I need to create my own. I think it's done it for me. Yeah, so there's the brick three there and it's created it all connected up. Um, you can also right click on here and say build material from set. I'm on redshift, UV, and there we go. So there's my brick three. And then what I always do is use my Luke Van shortcut and I have my scale set and ready to go. So that's pretty cool. But how do I get my... A redshift little icon so what you can do here is build material and thumbnail as assets so i say that i say redshift i say uv and now it's going to say what i want to call it i want to call it that again it looks like nothing's happening but if you look in the corner it's building a redshift scene and there we go now i have the red brick as that so you don't obviously have to do them i've already done three so i'm just this i can do all of them redshift uv and I don't want to have any prefix. I'll just keep it the name. You can obviously write a prefix if you, for whatever reason, want a prefix. And this obviously takes a little bit of time because it's doing a little redshift render in the background. It's applying this material to the shader ball in the background and then it's doing a little render and adding it to the thumbnail. So there's a lot happening all in the background, lots of Python. I don't understand any of it. And this is why I love Odie tools because I can uh, do this type of thing and I know no Python and it's great. All right, so uh, now we can jump out of this and you can see we have all these materials. Now we don't exactly want this. And so, but if you drag one of these in here and you have a look, it is referencing these textures. So don't delete these textures from your disk it's pretty imperative that you don't do that and so yeah if you go and delete these um here delete selection from disk then the material itself won't work because you can't read them anymore 
But what you can do is create a new folder. So let's just call this materials, I don't know, something like that. So what we can do if we want to try and tidy this up and we don't actually want to see all these materials because we've built this is we can just adjust this on here. So you can see I have all these over here and these are the ones that I want to use. I don't want brick seven, I'll delete that. And you see it's created this material. So I can drag these into materials. And then if we go back into here and we go into this folder management and we test, we can change this to not be all, no. So now it's not all, save directory layout, go back to this. So now I can go to materials and uh, it's broke the, the path. So I have to redo this because I changed the path. So the thumbnails no longer are updated. So just something to keep in mind. All right, so now we have that. And so if I want everything, I can again, just grab everything from here and I have my texture sets if I wanna use those separately, but I also have my materials over here. So I can very easily uh, in a project, just drag those in and I have the materials as I wanted them. This is not an endorsement by OD Tools. I'm not paid by OD Tools. Um, I just think it's an amazing toolkit. I'm probably not even using this 100% right, but this is how I do it. This is how I save my materials. You can save um, pretty much everything and anything in here. I hope this answers the questions of how to make your own Redshift materials. I'll see you next time.